Hello everybody and welcome back. This is your buddy Tofu and this is round two of me trying to get post commentary. Last time I uh, did it, I plugged in the wrong thing and I wasn't recording my voice even though like the little indicator was moving up and down. It was because I was picking my voice off from the uh, computer. It wasn't picking mine from the headset I have. Which this headset is not bad. It's getting janky because I, I treat it like crap but uh, it's still not bad so I don't think I'm gonna change anytime soon because I mean the quality of my voice I haven't really seen a, you know far as you know crackling I mean I do, I do hear feedback and stuff like that but I hear that with everything and I can fix it with editing so how you guys doing we're going to try to come we going we are going to complete this dungeon today and possibly move on to the next one uh, I say that just because of uh, what I've recorded in advance and I'm having trouble actually uh, finding well I guess uh, the, the next route I'm supposed to take because uh, the uh, strategy guide on Wikipedia doesn't have the next four dungeons I'm like what the heck thanks strategy guide I wouldn't even call that a strategy guide. I'd be like, hey, you want to know how to get to the third dungeon and then possibly the last dungeon? You know? Nothing in between because we sure as hell don't get that. I was a little bit uh, disappointed. Tch, gross. Yeah, so I'm trying to complete this because it's, it's a nice little game. It's a nice little long game. Still like it. It's not getting any views on my channel, but you know, whatever. I'm not cool. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Just don't know what to say on this one. Most of the times so I'm actually uh, pretty, pretty lively, but that's when I do live commentary because I could just make fun of the way I'm talking and just, you know, just, just relief, stress, just, you know, because the game, you know, playing the game is annoying sometimes just because I can't get the controls down. <laughs> like sometimes you see me feel like ultra mega high. I'm like, what? I just can't use the bomb here. That's just so stupid. I was like, uh, what? Yeah, you like run from the door, but that makes sense. And plus, I mean, most of the games I do play, I, I usually like, what was it, uh, sometimes I could just say a couple things and leave, leave it to the gameplay to talk for me. I don't feel like I can do this with this one. I'm gonna have to talk all the way through it. I'm gonna have to render it. Ugh. I complain too much, probably. Look at that little ghosty. Oh, I hate those little ghosties. They're so hard to hit because they want to just, they just want to be all spontaneous and whatnot. Moving with their flames around there. You know, you you think they would catch on fire. I mean, I guess since we are in a lava, I mean a fire-like dungeon, you know, most of the enemies won't catch on fire. But you would definitely think that would catch on fire. Look, it's just like just a white cloth with fire. Just, maybe he is on fire and he's like, put me out, put me out. Oh my god, put me out. I guess something to think about. You know what? I don't think the music ever changes. I think there's the, the exact same music we have in all dungeons. If that's true, that's that sucks. That really does suck. Come on, you I mean you couldn't think of uh, any any new fresh material? It was like, uh, what are we gonna have for the battle dungeon? Uh, intro music. Uh, okay, um, what are we gonna have for the ice uh, dungeon? Um, I'm thinking the intro music with a couple little tunka tunka tunka, and you know, and maybe jingle bells. And <laughs> be like, okay, got it. Print cut. You just made a million dollars. Yeah. So how's everybody been, you know, I hope they've been enjoying these videos a little bit, you know, at least try to be more interactive with my viewers, but I don't think my viewers really like me. I think they just kind of watch me just because 
wow, I really have nothing to do today, and I'm to the point where anything, you know, can entertain me. I've been there, because like I said, I have the same, I have the same uh, concept. I don't, like, I have people who I watch on YouTube who are a priority, and then there's the people like, oh, okay, I have, you know, I just need to watch something just to kill time. I don't have cable anymore, so it's like, ah. I thought I was I thought I was doing so good because of uh, Cartoon Network had the you can watch their shows online. I'm like hell yeah I don't need no cable, and then I figure it out. Well, you need cable to watch it online. I'm like you sons of, you know you lovely people. That's the reason why I cut off my cable too. So I mean I'm don't I don't feel bad, but at the same time I feel. That that decision was preemptive, you know. Kind of figured that it would do that, but that's all right. My mom has cable. As long as I get to watch Adventure Times on Monday, I'm good. Can't think of any other show that I, I would I would really want to watch. That's sad. Like I guess most people just spend all day watching all different kinds of TV shows. I do not. I do not do that. I don't know. Nothing interests me other than cartoons anime, manga, stuff like that. So basically animation. Like I, I think I'm gonna be an animator when I grow up. Either that or a race car driver because uh, those two, those two jobs are similar. Cause you're thinking, you know, animation is just fast paced and always having action and you know, and you can take curves in a 90 degree angle. I don't know, I don't know guys. I'm just making up stuff. Doodly -doo 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 -doo. I want to finish this game just because it's not that interesting, but it's still cute and fun. I, I played it because it's cute. It is cute. I like playing as girls for no apparent reason. No, because I like girls. That's that's my reason. I like playing girls. No offense. Everybody's like, oh, everybody on the internet's a girl. I mean, like, yeah, because in real life, you're a guy. You know, I was like, uh, I think on, on the internet, I want to be a guy. No, use your freaking imagination. Be a chick. Or be an alien. Or stuff like that. Because, no offense, uh, I'm pretty sure most of the things nowadays, you can choose whatever you want to be. You don't have to be a human at all. You can be some kind of weird blue blob that says, blah, 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 you know, and passes out free cake. And everybody will love you. And they'll call you Jingle Farts. And they'll be like, hey, Jingle Farts, you got any free cake? You'll be like, blah, 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 blah. You're like, ah, that's why I quit you, Jingle Farts. You're just, you're just so full of interesting dialect. And, you know. And he's got, like, a mansion. And he's got, like, girls that come to him regularly. Like, oh, Jingle Farts. It's just, I don't know what. But you're just so appealing. And he's like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And slaps that girl with a cake in her face. She's like, ha, ha, ha. I do! And he'd be like, uh. <laughs> he'd be shaking his head like, uh. So no matter what, girls are girls. They're like, ugh. Ugh. You can always tell the difference between a guy girl and a girl girl. Because guy girls are more like guys that are girls. And girl girls are more like, ugh. I just can't stand you right now. <laughs> I don't want to deal with you. Not to say girls are bad. Girls are awesome, guys. We all need girls. They're part of our reproductive cycle. You know, we if we didn't have girls, there would just be a lot of sports and violence. And I don't think I like any of that. So I mean, I I mean, I do like cooking and stuff like that. I'm not saying that guys don't wouldn't do that, but be re okay. It's like Vanguard. You ever watch that movie? What if there was nothing but guys? I mean, most of the stuff, you know, it's it gets biased, you know, because uh, a guy who gets raised by a girl has a more finimum, 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 it has more women-like tendencies, and he, uh, you know, he does he does things a little bit gentler, a little bit, you know, he's he's got a broader uh, aspect of life. But guys that are just guys, they're just freaking guys, you know, you know, because when I was around them, I was like, oh my goodness, is this all we're going to talk about? Sports, drugs, and women? I mean, like, come on, man, there's, there's other things out there, you know, you know I, I know, I know it's not all, you know, daisies and daffodils, but 
goodness gracious, there's some cool ass flowers out there, guys. I've been there. Studied biology. But I don't know. I guess it's 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 really one sided just because of how a guy can turn out. Like you got like the guys who are overly masculine, you got the guys who are very meek but are still masculine. And you'll think like, what, 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 what are you talking about? Because w- when you think about it, like, uh, I've always watched, okay, I guess people like nerds, uh, I guess I hate to see that. They're always portrayed a certain way. But if you get a bunch of uh, a nerd-like people around each other, they're masculine. No, they, they sit there and do the same thing that a regular jock would do, but in a way that is, I guess, more... Uh, uh, fixated towards them, you know, in, in their beliefs and stuff like that. So, cause you know, I I've been around a different set of people. It's it's it gets different, you know. It really does get different, especially Americans. Oh goodness, that's why I don't really like being American. But at the same time, I can't complain just because of all the freedom. I guess I guess that's what we call we call it freedom we get but I just believe it's because of the fact that um, I guess we do not have the crowded population that most people do because when you I mean when you think of uh, Britain because they have they have freedom in, uh, like the UK and I feel like the UK is like the close okay UK and the Canada are the closest uh, thanks to us because just because of how I guess how their structures are built far as uh, There's not a lot of people on top of people because like I said, I've never been to Japan But if you I mean go on the internet watch sites watch movies just try to get a a, a, a uh, I guess a feel for their culture. There's there you're close. You're really close to people you're like you have no privacy See, America, you you know, my neighbor, even though he's across the street, I never see him. I mean, I'm pretty sure in other countries, you're seeing your neighbor every day. You know, your neighbor's coming over your house, talking about what are we going to eat. Like, what? Get out of my house, you fool. I was like, I can barely take care of myself. What are, you gonna, what are we going to eat? You know, stuff like that. I just feel like uh, our differences is really n- not big. Like I don't feel like we have that many differences. It's just how uh, I guess the economy is really. Because I mean, when people from different races or different cultures come here, they adapt to us. They adapt to our way of life, unless they're pretty set in their ways. Um, but uh, they usually start acting like how uh, I guess a normal American would, and it really just it really just shows you it really isn't it's really not the people it's more sometimes of the location, and even though it can be the people it's still location. I mean, if I myself grew up in a different location, I would still be me. I would still have a lot of traits that define me, but I would be. A different person just because I grew up at a different place I hate to say that to say like location makes the person but it I mean because it really doesn't it just has an influence and most people nowadays just you know they go off of influence instead of uh, how they feel but I was like no 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 I'm not growing up like a product of my environment I'm not going I'm not gonna grow up a person who just you know acts a certain way just because he was raised that way I'm gonna grow up the way I feel which is right and which I did which made me very unsocial and I don't have a lot of friends but at the same time I've always noticed that uh, even though I don't have a lot of friends a lot of people will come to me I'm like I'm like one of those people like if you if you went to school and you'd be like hey Look at that guy. He's popular. He's got all the friends. He's got like the fancy clothes. He's, you know, he looks, he looks very social. He's very presentable. But then you go to, um, down the street and you see some random guy. Uh, he may not have the same things you do, but 
at the same time he's still as prosperous just because he's a he's at a different level you know and i always felt like that's that's the that's the thing we need to be focusing on because uh because i i realized in school i was like i'm not going to be popular i'm gonna be like one of those guys that 30 de 30 years down the road that those girls gonna be like oh sh i should have married him you know i was like yeah i'm just gonna have bankroll after bankroll i'm gonna have nice cars i'm gonna have a nice house now that i think of it i don't want none of that i just want to be able to you know i just want to be able to do the right thing all the time that's what i'm working on because i've made a lot of stupid mis stupid mistakes and i do not like that you're gonna see a lot of cuts in this uh uh, you know transitions in this uh, little thing right here because this boss was a B and I only got one hit is that one hit no I got two hits but yeah it's like oh my goodness and like right there what the, what the heck is that well, like you know my death perception is not that good what is he doing like I don't know when to go I don't know when to not go I don't know when to not not go I was like come on let's let's just make it easy just make a, a, a secret, what is it, uh, Adventure Time, hit his, uh, secret, uh, his secret gym spot and just be done with it. That was actually one of the, uh, one of the hard bosses because I, I feel like even the, uh, the, uh, what's it called guy wasn't that hard. The hawk guy wasn't hard and the centipede lady was dang sure not that hard. Yep. Thank you so much. I am the Earth Spirit. The Spirit something happened in here. I can't read it because the words are too small. And I feel like maybe it's time to get some bigger words in a different background. Whoop 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 a do. We're back to the village. So I actually get lost. I, I thought I needed to go back to the lady. And uh, I didn't. I need to find the next metal so I can go. So this is me just going back and forth like O M G. But first, I gotta go sell some gold. And as you notice, this uh, B W three B W three. <laughs> this B B W right here is uh, got three new. It's got three. No, she has two new uh, little yellow things. I told her I didn't like them. I was like, nope. I don't like your. Sh I don't like your stuff. I don't care what the heck a pip. Pippa Baloo is, but I do want your money, so let me get that gold. Let me get that gold, lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get that gold. Yeah, get me gold. Let me get that gold. Let me get gold, gold. Let me, let me, yeah. I'm gonna have to go uh, talk to some people. I'm gonna have to uh, talk to some people and. Make sure I have like the recording set so I like if I do mess up, you know, I don't I want to show you guys as much as possible, you know, at the same time I'm like ah, da, 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 da. forget this game. <laughs> yeah, she's just talking about hey uh well he, he's talking about whatever this sword is. It's like three grand. I'm like, what? This better do my taxes. Ta taxes. And it does. And I get good taxes. Got a lot of bad. I got like $600 back on my taxes this year. No, I'm, I'm just playing. I was just making fun of things. I don't do taxes. You know, I don't. I'm never. This is my first year doing taxes, actually. I'm that lame. It was like, you don't do your taxes. But how are you going to get your RIA to the. RIS and then back to your 401k and a pension plan with six APR. I'm like, what the f did you just say? Was that algebra you just said to me? Get out of here. Don't even talk to me with that. But you know what? The power of Christ compels you because I'm damn sure that wasn't English. You crazy facts attorney at law, Birdman. Tonight at 11 o'clock, Adult Swim. You know, crazy people with their letters and mixing words and numbers what's like what's wrong with these people people can barely even speak now we're gonna make words and numbers together i mean what are you gonna do you know uh 
You know, I, you know what I thought today? No, it wasn't today. It was Saturday. Saturday, I think. I figure out why we use algebra because I was sitting here uh, selling food for, with my uncle, and like hot dogs were four dollars, and nachos were like three, and then, but she gave me a ten dollars, you know. So it's like <laughs> if A plus B equals ten. You know, it was like, uh, I was like, okay, I get algebra now. All this time, I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> when? I said, I always like, no, don't get me wrong. I always like math and algebra and stuff like that. I just didn't understand what the heck was this. Like, who invented this? Like, I always wondered that. Like, who invented every word in the dictionary? And then who, who decided, like, you know, and stuff like that. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> what is this feeling that I have of self-preservation? What am, what am I doing right now? Uh, I don't know. I got lost because everything looks the same. And I was like, um, no. That's, no, that's not the way. And my little blue birdie thing doesn't want to tell me anything. Because he's a prick. Because I know he knows the way. Because I saw him on Facebook when he tagged that photo it was at the moon shrine so I know he knows how to get there he just won't tell me a little prick okay this is about the end of the uh, video this is where I found out like I don't know where to go <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's right here but it's locked I don't know where to go so thank you for watching uh yeah this has been your buddy tofu and definitely thank you for watching but i'm signing out all right see you later guys bye